I know we're looking right into the bright lights. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. There. Now can you guys hear us? I know we're looking right into the bright. Yep. Okay. Yay! <laughs> You guys are the best. You okay. are so patient with us. You are. Okay, so do you want to put that? Um, or you can just hold it for a minute while we get started. Okay. Okay. Yes. So we'll just go to this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but now you can Uh-oh. Hit. Hold up. What? Crud. I forgot, you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Sing with me, please. Happy birthday, dear Sally. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. We're doing this after lunch. Huh. Oh, but hold on. Grandmother needs a little taster. <laughs> yes. okay later we'll catch up later <laughs> she's definitely gonna want some of that mm, oh yes. my goodness that all is, right that you scared me i was like what'd she forget what'd she forget i got her huh <laughs> okay sweet now that we have done a little mini <sighs> celebration brought you guys into that let's get started on this project we are going to be using our inlays woo, woo. Woo, woo. you guys i'm so excited like i said this has been one of those projects that's in a main part of your house that you look at every day you we all have those pieces of furniture right we're like what should i do with that what should i do with that what should i do with that um and it just it hit me we were looking for a piece of furniture to do some inline project with today and it hit me that this is what i want to do with the gate legs so let's do my birthday table in the indigo floral Mm -hmm. And we're going to get started. So basically, we are going to lay these into a fresh coat of paint. We pre-coated it with a slightly different color, okay, which is a little bit of a technique. In fact, if you caught Michelle Fapard's video, she did the same thing and mm -hmm. it inspired us. Rather than doing the same color, we're going to pull a little texture by using a little bit of contrast in the base coat, which is all nice and dry. Mm -hmm. you want to make sure that's good. And dry. Michelle's video is the last one we posted. So yes, if you want to go check awesome. that out, you got to. It's on a frame. It's beautiful. Yes, yes. I would call this a light dove gray. And we are going to go over it with a creamy soft white. Mm -hmm. And we're going to layer inlays in them. We've already trimmed them. Now, a couple little pointers when you're trimming your inlays. Um, is a rotary cutter and cutting mat and straight edge work awesome. That's the preference. Don't use, if you can avoid it. A razor it, knife. A razor knife, <laughs> because it wants to pull the paper. It doesn't use that really she knows. clean edge, exactly. Mm -hmm. The other tip, and if you wanna, whoops, put that oh, oh. on here. Yes, yes, yeah. So they can see. Okay, mm. okay. Um, let me, camera. Hold on one sec. You guys get to see our, our roots. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, just trying to, oops. I'm trying to flip the camera. Oh, I got you. Well, okay. So the other tip is you want to, um, you want to get that, there's a quarter inch margin all around each of the sheets. And you want to remove that. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, get my chin, my under chin there. That's the best. <laughs> okay. It's the most flattering thing. Though. Exactly. Okay. Well, we'll just do this. That's that. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay. So you want to, and I actually do a couple at a time. Um, and you want to see that's from that razor knife that you want to avoid. Um, you want to err on the side of not leaving any margin that doesn't have pigment. So even if you go over a tiny into the pigment, that's going to be more forgiving than having a bit of the paper because that will result in a gap. 
Okay, which can always, it's also again very forgiving because you can go back in and move that pigment, which you'll find in that technique in the Inlays 101 video. If you haven't seen that, be sure to catch that. So we've trimmed these all. I do, honestly, this time I did Stephanie, four at a if time. That, if that video is on YouTube, the one uh, Inlays 101, could you link to it? Yes, That'd be amazing. that's Thank a you. great idea. Now, <clears throat> you can see this particular pattern is a repeatable pattern and there's two unique sheets, okay? And they are staggered. So this on the back, you can see how they are arranged and you can plan accordingly, okay? So we are going to put these on the top of this beautiful drop leaf table and you wanna work in sections that are about the size of each of the sheets. So about 12 by 16. And let's go ahead and get started and lay our paint in, okay? Okay. Right. So we're going to use a nice soft white, a soft our white. white. And we've got our go brushes. Let's grab you. Josie's gonna go grab our brushes. Here, I'll grab a cup. So, we're going to focus mostly on this front side so that we can get the most visible part done during this video. And then any continuation will align the pattern that way. I like to, there's different ways you can do it. You can start from one end and go over. You can start from the center. You can wing it. You can put marks. So lots of different ways to do that. Um, do you want to start from this side and move this way? Sure. Okay. That is, especially if you're working with a repeat pattern that doesn't have any really big, um, a smaller repeat pattern, you're not going, you're going to have less waste that way because if you start from the center out, you'll have trim on each side of the last sheets, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember, um, we're going to cover the whole thing though. Right, yeah. right. Okay. So I'm thinking we're going to start from that end and we're going to start from this seam, which is also okay. kind of nice because that's landing on a seam oh. is, yeah, it help, you don't have to deal with this one less seam. Does it matter with. how thick the paint is? Yeah, you want a medium coat. Okay. You want it to stay wet until you get that sheet on there. Now, while you are doing that, sis, so I'm going to say you're going to go to here and you go all the way down to here. Okay. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to dampen the sheet that we lay down ahead of time. And <clears throat> I'm going to leave, I'm going to move this way so you can see what Sal's doing. But I want to explain why I'm doing this. If you pre-dampen the back side of your inlay sheet, that pre-expands your fibers. And what that does is it minimizes wrinkles. Sometimes you want to maximize wrinkles, and that's awesome to get that really leathery texture. And sometimes you want to minimize wrinkles. We're going to do it this way this time because it's a technique that I know people will want to know about. So we're going to take it, we're going to lay it face down, on a surface like one of our, um, what are these called? Thin mounts. <laughs> Someone tell me what these are called. Um, face down on that. So we're going to spritz it with a light mist of water. We don't want it puddled. We just want to dampen it. So those okay, fibers. It's pull ready. It. All right. So let me grab that. And I'm going to do this. Can you? Oh, oh yeah. we don't have a yeah. second. Yeah, yeah, show this. Okay, awesome. I just need to change the view. Okay, perfect. So I've got this. This is on a thin mount face pigment side down, grid side up, and it's easy to swap them. So pay attention to that. Boom, boom. And we are going to do this. And it'll start to soak it up and expand a bit. You'll see it kind of get some buckling happening in it. Okay. Nice. Okay, now 
we're going to, in fact, I think let's put a teeny bit more paint on, okay. on here. Just go a little bit wider. Oh, okay. Oops. Make sure we're wide enough. I think we are because we're starting that in. But, and now we are going to lift this up. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of nice because we have this edge here to keep us level. And we are going to... I want them to be able to see. Let me move to the side. There you go. There we go. We are going to do, whoops. <laughs> we are going to just lay that right there. Do you want it to go all the way to the edge? You do, huh? Yeah. So let's go like that, leaving enough to wrap that edge. And now we're going to pull it a little bit. Okay. Smooth it a little bit. And when it's damp, you're going to notice it has a little bit of stretch to it. And you can use that to your advantage as you're laying it down. And right now, the goal is to get it inlaid into the paint nicely without Ooh. moving it around too much. There's, there's forgiveness there. I can already see what it's going to look like. It's so pretty. Now, I am going to use this. It's just damp. Just to give it a wipe down. And I'm not gonna go over into the paint. So I'm not gonna get right up against the edge. Nice, and then just make sure my edges are down. Boom, boom. We can trim, oh wait, no, we don't want to trim it later. We want it to go around the edge. Okay, easy peasy. So I'm gonna use this and start tamping that down and curling it around the edge. Perfect. We'll trim the excess. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. Later. Lighty, lighty. Now, do you okay. want to get your I camera the comments. and get right up in there at a nice side angle so they yeah. can see that? And then I'll start painting. There's, there's a lot of comments, I'm sure. I'll start painting the next section. There we go. Now, we are doing all of these at once. Before we pull the first one, we've laid the last one. And if you go over a tiny bit on that first sheet, it's okay because the paper's protecting the pigment. It's a little bit clunky. <laughs> you will find that you, as you play with these, and we highly recommend getting a pack. If it's your first time and you're nervous, don't fret. You could share a pack with a friend and take a sheet, cut it up, do small pieces, get to know it. Because if you are into DIY decor, and mm -hmm. painting furniture and upcycling, these yep. are gonna be your new best friend because these are not a synthetic film. These are real paint. Your You're laying project paint into, into paint. your project. So all of the characteristics of paint are going to be what you experience with the inlays. So exactly. Meaning that you can um, do different techniques with them after they're laid in. And we will be, we're super excited to do a whole series on these. Um, now that we're back, we're going to be doing lives often and we're going to really focus on the inlays because we understand that being new to the market, just like the transfer, um, that there's a lot of education, sorry, I'm giving them a close-up of your hair. Um, a lot of education that is necessary and, and, <laughs> and we're the people you want to be educated by, right? <laughs> Clearly. Clearly um, we've got it all together. We've got it all together. So okay. anyway, we are excited to do some different techniques with you guys and walk you through what makes the inlay so special. Because we've got this is really random. Our, do you want to just do this while you're <laughs> it's 
like going all over the place. It's my birthday. Can she doesn't get to tease me on my birthday? I'm not teasing you. It's just like gonna give people make them seasick. Okay. Well, I could put it on a tripod if you want. I just don't have as much control over where it goes, and I can't get those close-in shots. Yeah, yeah, no, I, we want those okay. close-in shots, but anyway, um, I can't remember what I was gonna say now, but. Let me make sure I'm laying it the right direction. And yes. Okay. If you want to get up in here with the camera. Oh, this now she great. Wants it on. I want it on a lot. And we're just lining those up and butting right up to it. Okay. And so I want you to watch here. Can they see that really good where my finger is? Okay, you can see here. Oh, it's just a smidge higher. Let's just, there we go. It's got some nice stretch to it. Okay. Okay, oh, you know what? And you can see as it dries the difference. Oh, this is a great learning moment. Two sheets. Guys, because look at me. Meaning Jesse messed up. <laughs> I did this on purpose. So keep that on there, sis, because I'm going to fix it right now. Well, first, show them what so the there's no, problem is. There's see, no paint. There's no paint. There's right no there. paint right there. So I didn't do it enough. So we're going to just do this. Okay. Right. And then we are going to get in there and get that coated properly. Easy peasy. Okay, lay it back down. All right, now we are going to do the same thing here as we did over there. And get to the next one. I apologize if I feel a little rushy it's because I want to get, we want to get this um, up for you all the way before we have to give up the mic. So next, nice. I think we're going to make it all the way across with the three. The three? And Which then what about down super here? super convenient. Yeah, then we will, in fact, we'll just trim a piece for that spot. Okay. You can see our background mess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, Cheryl was saying she's glad that we're demonstrating on a table because she has, um, she wants to do this on her table. Mm. Good, good, good. Nice. Good timing, right? You're right, Lynn. They do. Um, Lynn was saying they offer so many opportunities for texture. And sorry, I know it's really, it's hard for me to focus on the camera and <laughs> engage. But um, so sorry if it's a little bit wobbly right now. Um, if you guys, if there's something you want me to zoom in on, let me know. Let's see. Did you spray that one? Not yet. I'm making sure okay. that I have the right one. <laughs> you sprayed this one though. Yes. Okay. And I'm spraying this one okay. now. There we go. And it happens pretty quick, which is nice. I feel like we all have a table just like this, Janice. Like everybody, these are very, very common tables. And what I really like about them as far as um, a project to work on is they have so much flat surface, but they're also display tables. So it's not like a normal table where you'll never see the pattern because it lays down, you get the both, best of both worlds where you have all of that flat space you can add design to, but it also drops down so that it's a, a focal piece as well. I love gate lake tables. They're so flexible too. You can use them as entry tables or flip them up and actually use them as a table. Very nice. So you can see Josie just 
working up that seam. And then we just have the bottom, the bottom left. Curl this right around. There. Trying to reduce the camera shake. Next time I think we should just set it up in the best possible angle and then leave it. Yeah. Everybody's like, we've heard this before. <laughs> Yeah. As well as the microphones. Next time we'll have microphones. Next time. Okay, so boom boom. <laughs> Aaron said I can hear your helpers in the background. Yes, it is. Um we do not have childcare today. Poor Kelsey is not feeling well, so she had to call in and so we've got two babies roaming about in the background. Such is the mom life. Okay, so this one. Mom is life. gonna be this one. Just how right. come you don't have the sides upright like is that. it easier to apply the inlay yes but it's harder to show you if we if we put the table up then you wouldn't have as good of a view so we have them drop down so that the angle the is side, such the... that you don't yeah she said is it e wouldn't it be easier to have to actually be when you are, it, it's not necessarily easier because you have gravity working with you to, to have your sheet as you're holding it and putting it up against mm, not in the camera. You've got gravity working with you. So it works both ways. Pretty, um, pretty much the same, I think. But I'm sorry, sis, I interrupted you. And even on your birthday. I know. I'm sorry. You can't. But yourself. the view is the reason that we look pretty against that brick. It does. Okay. So this is going to go right there. Rose, where uh, have you checked the? Um, Rose said, "I so wish there was a local IOD. Have you checked the store locator? I'm assuming you have, if you're saying that." But if not, go check out our store locator. You will be surprised because we are adding stores all the time. So check back there. But also, if you don't have a local or if you prefer to shop online, we do have online stores as well that is that are very convenient. And those are on the store locator as well. So you just use the filter for online stores. Yes. Oh, sweet. I got roses. Is the top of the table dry? No. No. Oh, I was going to say. We could um, it is, but that can't. Uh, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That's okay. Okay. Oh, can sweet. they see this? That is so sweet. We're just going to put this little piece right here. Miracle house. Okay. Here, I'm getting, I'm distracted. I'm reading who it's from. Okay. Aw. I think it's from my hubby. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. Sent with flowers on my birthday. So you guys can see. I could have trimmed that closer had I measured. Um, but we'll just have a little excess there. No big deal. And now we go in and get those two corners trimmed this excess off. Oh, but we didn't over here either. No, right. Exactly. Okay. Okay. But I just kind of, I yeah. could have gotten closer. Had I... And the benefit to that would be that it, you're, it's let bigger pieces of for when you're saving the ex, the trim, okay. you have bigger pieces instead of lots of little pieces. So, gotcha. So let me push that up there. Make sure we don't have any large gaps, and we are golden. Now, let's go ahead and get the other side, which I believe is going to be no, no, no. Wait. not this one it is this one and right I 
think this is goes here. No, no, no. This goes here. There we go. And then what's cool is, I believe, that goes there. Perfect. So, the same piece. we only need, like, a little corner of each of these. So, I'm just going to cut this. Make sure I have, yeah, that's, I'm just going to go a little generous for the video so we don't have to recut. <laughs> it's Willow. That is really okay. Whew. This is gonna be here, right? Yes. So this we're is in our new office, you guys. We call it an office, but we actually are instead in a home. Um, we decided to rent a home because it just suits our needs better with the babies. So this is the kitchen, and um, over here, here I'll show you real quick. Over here is kind of the nursery area. It's kind of a mess right now, but you can see Willow. She's about to get some num nums. Say hi. <laughs> oh, she says hello, me. Hello, Remy. <laughs> she totally said hi. <laughs> I love it. Okay. okay. All right, back to business. Okay. Now, <laughs> Oops. do I have this in the right direction? I do. Can you see if I do that? Can I see? Oh, yeah, yeah, totes. Okay. All right. You just sit right there and fill that spot, you pretty little thing. And now the other side. Okay, let me cross over. Oh, never mind. I can do it if you're on that angle. And I love the good close up shots so we can really see what we're doing here. Exactly. There we go. Now remember, this is paint and it is active until sealed. And what that means is when we remove all this, you can do special effects and you can move pigment to fill any little gaps, makes it more forgiving. So the camera can see you. There you go. <laughs> um, which camera? It's that camera. Okay. So now this all has to dry. What's our time situation? 12.45. So we have 15 minutes. So this needs to be thoroughly dried. Okay. We can should we do... pop back on after? I think that makes better sense. Yes, can, because, because we the have, fans are that out. way we're not rushed and you guys get to see everything yes. because we don't want to cut it off now. So what we'll do is there's another live coming on in 15 minutes and um, and it's I checked out the project. It looks amazing. You do not want to miss it. It looks so much fun, like so much fun. Um, and then we will, when she is done, we she's like a day of IOD and then... Stay on, and we will show you the rest the most of fun this. part. The, the most, most fun part, fun part is, is coming. Pulling the paper yes, off and 100%. watching the pigment just be beautiful in that paint base. So be okay. sure to join us back. Yes. All right, you guys. All right. We'll see you in a while. Okay.